One hotel in San Antonio housing more than just a bed and breakfast. The University Health System is using a portion of the building's second floor for its sleeping lab. As we continue to look into the issues of sleep apnea, Tiffany Huertas takes us through what an actual sleep study looks like at a hotel. You can't miss it near I-10 and Loop 410 on the northwest side. This La Quinta also a second home for the University Health System. A hallway separated by a glass door marks the specialized rooms used for the system sleep lab. We've been doing sleep studies in the hotel for about two years. Dr. Karen Henschel Franks and her university health colleagues depend on the studies done here to help her patients. We're just gonna measure your breathing through your stomach and chest, okay? Technicians help patients through every step of the process. Monitors on the head and face to track how deep of a sleep a patient can get. Other devices monitor the airway and breathing. And on his finger, he had something to measure his oxygen level. Patients with sleep apnea have interruptions with breathing when they sleep. That's why while they're tucked in, sleep specialists are in another room monitoring through an infrared camera. From every snore to every twitch is recorded. Dr. Franks shows us what they usually look for in a study. Where it's flat like this, is where he's not breathing. In between where it goes up again is where he starts to breathe again. Sometimes a patient is put on a CPAP during the study to see if their breathing patterns improve. Then in the morning, they can go downstairs, have breakfast, and then from there they can go to school or to work. Tiffany Huertas, KSAT 12 News. Snoring and fatigue, symptoms that could lead to a sleep study. Dr. Frank says the hotel setting is especially helpful to keep nervous children calm during the study.